all right the water is boiling hot and i'm going to blanch the pork bones that will form the the basic broth for the soup that i'm cooking tonight it's a simple soup with vegetables so the the intention of using the pork bones is to get a natural rich flavorful broth so the blanching now these are huge soup bones that i love using and got to carefully immerse it in the water i got some beautiful spare ribs today beautiful spare ribs that will also help enrich the soup so i've got to blanch them there you go got to bring this to a boil and blanch for about 5 minutes and we're done the meat has been nicely blanched for about 6 minutes you see all the scum the cloudy uh precipitates floating at the top of the uh water surface so i'm going to take away the meat bones and give them a good wash when you now wash this you will end up with a very clear soup broth I love to include a couple of these monster bones into my soup. They really help. Just about 1 kg of meat. So these are my soup bones, the monster bones that will be used to prepare the broth. So I'm going to bring them to uh, bring it to a boil and let it simmer for about an hour before adding the rest of the ingredients. I just want something rich, hearty, flavorful, delicious, heartwarming, soul warming for this evening. The flame has already been turned on. Time to close the lid. The soup has been simmering gently for about an hour now. It's time for us to add in the meat. I love to add in the vegetables at a little uh, later time when I'm when the meat is about to get ready because I don't want um, at least my kids don't love it mushy and soggy. They still want a little bit of crunch in the vegetables. Okay, so it's time for me to turn the heat on to high, which I have just done, and I'm gonna send in the meat pieces. Some more meat here. So when this comes to a boil I'm going to simmer it again for about 45 minutes and maybe at the 30th minute I will add in the vegetables. Okay the soup uh the meat has just boiled so I have turned the flame down to simmer but I will have to get it back on high because I'd like to add in some corn for the lovely flavor that corn gives. natural glutamate flavors time to add in the carrots for its natural sweetness and of course for the brilliant color that it brings time to close the lid and get things back to a boil onions entering the broth for added color a bit of tanginess sweetness uh we have some firm yet ripe tomatoes but i've deseeded them i don't want a messy soup they're entering the broth so the last thing that i got to add after this will be potatoes and uh, they don't take much time and i'd like them firm so i'll add them later that's about it uh yep yeah, we probably need a little bit of salt not much flavoring to be added you could add in a teaspoon of uh, fish sauce or maybe a soy sauce uh, for the umami kick uh, but otherwise this is going to be a simple soup the aroma that's emanating from the cooker right now is heavenly and i must say at this point that we have not yet added any seasoning like soy sauce or fish sauce or even salt for that matter this is potato the last entry into the soup uh soup pot you can see that the soup is clear and beautiful with 
No murkiness. Beautiful soup. I'm gonna let this uh, uh, get to a boil and then simmer for about 20 minutes and that should be it. That's a little bit, say about two tablespoons of Shamsing wine. That looks like a lot of salt, but that's that's just about two teaspoons of salt. Just about two teaspoons. I just have a very big ladle here and the salt seems to have dispersed because the ladle was wet when I poured it. To prevent the soup from turning darker, I have decided to avoid using soya sauce or fish sauce. 